Intolerance has been in business since uh, 1947. Originally uh, founded as the Norman Scott Company and uh, did business directly with Arthur Collins, with Rockwell Collins, and that's pretty much how we got our start. We run a lot of aerospace products here, um, some airframe products. Um, the challenges that we see are a lot of thin wall aluminum parts. A lot of them have draft on them. Uh, we got to maintain radiuses. Uh, we got to maintain wall thicknesses of 30 thousandths of an inch. Uh, we started out with one Mazak uh, in the shop and now have grown to about 18 to 19 uh, machines. Uh, we still have some of the original ones. So we have uh, you know, a 35 year old M8 that still runs uh, very well and uh, does its piece. And then we you know, uh, moved on to some more technologically advanced machines that uh, we had to put into our production in order to be competitive in the marketplace. Here at Intolerance, each machinist is responsible for his own machine from the time we get the print to the time we make the produced product into quality assurance. We'll set two Mazaks uh, side by side and they'll, uh, they'll run one by setting it up. They'll set the product up and get it going and then they'll switch over to the other machine while the, the former one is running and they'll have that one set up as well. What we try to do, um, based on the Internet of Things and the machine-to-machine -machine language, we try to capture what parts run best together. So if I have one part that runs very unattended, which means that um, one of my machinists doesn't have to spend a whole lot of time on it, and we like to run one of those along with something that takes a little more uh, tender love and care or more hands-on approach, and that allows us to be more efficient. The VCN530 has the new smooth control, and I love it. The reason I like it is the interface is so much more user friendly over the M plus control that I used to run. We can upload and download so much faster with the new controller and the machine moves so much faster than our old machines did. From the old control to the new smooth we've seen improvements of 25% and more just going from one control to the other and that's not even factoring in spindle speed because once you double the spindle speed then obviously we can go a lot faster but just processor time and speed to speed we've seen a great improvement process monitoring is is very important i, I know some of the guys on the floor will tell you some of the great aspects about the uh, the vertical machining center that with the smooth control um, but from a management perspective uh, visibility onto the shop floor and what is actually being done out there and how efficient we are is absolutely critical. I really like the smooth touch screen. It's easier to navigate. I feel I can navigate it faster than even on a matrix or an M plus controller. When it first came out I thought it was a joke because your fingers as a machinist are always oily and dirty and I haven't had any problems on the screen as far as touching it with coolant on my fingers or oil or anything else. I thought it would be as touchy as a smartphone, and it's not. One of the new capabilities of the uh, smooth touch control that we really like is engraving. It small, sounds like a very small thing, uh, but in the past we would have to do the machining production right on the machine and then move it off to another machine in order to do the engraving. Now we can do that all in one operation, which is one setup, one easy build, and it's, it's a nice feature that we've, we've used a lot. At, at Intolerance, the decisions we make to buy new equipment is is a, is a long process. Uh, Mazak has been very helpful in that process. They helped us with a capability study coming in and looking at the current machines and the requirements that we had and recommending products. They took prints from us and showed us how the build would be on the new machines. Basically showed us what the value add was for their company, which we didn't really get from you know the com competition and, and the competitors. And so for us to feel comfortable with the machines, we have to you have to investigate them, have to get that type of value add and that uh, um, support in order for us to make a buying decision. Uh, so Mazak was very helpful with that, both in the purchase of the smooth control and with the purchase of our other newer Mazaks as well.